Welcome to World Thing TV. I'm Dave Canole. This is the 2021 Toyota Prius iTech. You're looking at $50,000 drive away with a 90 kilowatt combined total for the petrol and battery system in this particular car, which does beg the question why is Toyota continuing with it considering we have the Yaris, the Camry, and of course Corolla. Inside the iTech, a heated leather seat. It's a nice interior, central display screen which actually looks really cool and is all operated via the uh, information tabs just on here the engine is not fired up at the moment which is why nothing is happening a separate look at the information provided by the price or Prius depending how you want to pronounce it is the information screen it's got uh, lots to do with what the car is all about even on a uh, daily basis you can see that uh, it'll give you an indication. It's rated at three and a half litres per 100 kilometres on a combined cycle, and it really will depend on just how hard you punch it and on what sort of uh, overall driving style you've got. And we have to say that it's sort of been up and down. We've seen seven to eight litres, we've seen under three. So in that respect, no problems. As we see, we've also got um, this particular system. If we drop it into drive, and we shouldn't really but there you go, you get an idea of just what it does in how that works. And you see those arrows that move between the engine, the battery, and the electric motor on the front. But you do get plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, plenty of shoulder room. And these Ecopia tyres from, I beg your pardon, Taranda tyres from Bridgestone, which don't look too bad on these uh, particular wheels. Heaps of cargo room inside as well. No problems in that respect for your luggage for a weekend or a few days away. How does it drive? Typical Toyota hybrid, around 20 k's or so before the petrol engine kicks in, accelerates nicely, handles nicely, and as a driving car, absolutely no problems whatsoever. It's just that $50,000 nowadays, ladies and gents, we think is just a little bit too much. So perhaps Toyota might want to consider, unless of course the Eco Warriors wish to continue to be seen in a prize and nothing else. For Will Thing TV, I'm Dave Canole.